Today's vlog, just call me Michael Scott. The tables are about to turn clean. We are gonna be doing a dining room table clean up and makeover downstairs in the Hayley's Help kitchen and I want you guys to come along for the ride. Okay, so here is what my dining table is currently looking like. It looks a hot mess. My chair covers have got spillages on them. There's crumbs and food on the table. There's lots of fingerprint marks also on our table. And these need to be cleaned, sanitized, and back to the Haley's Help standards. So the first thing that I wanna do is remove my chair covers. These chair covers are from Chair FX. I've spoken to you guys about these before. We had some over Christmas, so go and check out that vlog if you want to see our Christmas chair covers. They were kind of like a mustardy yellow. The colour name for them is Ochre. And I have now changed those for the black ones. We loved these so much that I then got the black version of them what we can keep all year round. The reason that I love the Chair FX chair covers so much is it is this simple to take them off and clean them. So at the moment, I can see a couple of the chairs. I do have three children, three messy children, and they do spill stuff over the chairs. So for example, here we go. There's some sort of spillage on the chair cover, and that is, like Super Nanny says, unacceptable. It's unacceptable. So these are all gonna come off and go in the wash. That is my first reason for loving these. It is super easy, super quick, super simple as pulling them off and throwing them in the washing machine. The second reason I love the chair covers so much is what it hides beneath. Just call me Michelle Pfeiffer. What lies beneath? Here we go. My chairs are destroyed. Luna the cat has clawed her way through each and every single chair. She has ruined them. There are claw marks all over them. And as you can see, they just look awful now. My options were throw all six chairs away into landfill and start again. Potentially having Miss Luna scratch them to pieces again or get a chair cover hide the awful scratches that she has created and peace is restored. And we're gonna put these in the wash now before we press on to cleaning the table and the chairs. When it comes to cleaning our dining room tables, we need three products in particular. The first is we need a clean up, so something like Sith. We then need a disinfectant, so something like bleach. And we then need a polisher, so something like the pledge. You can also use black tea to polish, and you can also get polishing cloths, so you don't have to use any product at all. tables we need to make sure that we also get the underneath this is often an area that is overlooked but people do touch the underneath area of your tables and it can leave food particles sticky residue thus making it a hot spot for bacteria it is a cardinal sin to not clean underneath your table don't be sinita guys don't be sin eater of our household bleach. This is what we are gonna to use to sanitize our tables. Again, making sure we pay particular attention to the top, the underneath of the table, as well as the legs. Do make sure that before you use any of the products in today's video, that your table is suitable for the products to be used. Some tables won't be, but you need to check.
we have dealt with the dining room table. Now it is time to move on to the cleaning of the chairs. Our chairs, although they look slightly battered, they are faux leather and they do need cleaning with the right solution. So, for our faux leather chairs, and this is a good um, one to use, whatever type of chair you have, it is washing up liquid that is antibacterial. That way you can cut through the grime and you are also getting rid of any germs and bacteria at the same time. For this, we want to make sure that we are using a soft cloth. We also don't want it to be too wet because you don't want to saturate your chairs with moisture, if, especially if they're faux leather, and even more so if you've got wooden chairs, do not saturate them. It is bad for the chair and it will wreck it. So let's press on and move over to the sink. We're going to fill our sink up with our washing up liquid and then we're going to go ahead and give the chairs a clean and then the legs, we are going to clean those too and we're going to buff them off with our crystal clear cloth. So those of us that are a fan of a chair cover, the reason that I add that extra level of cleaning the chairs once the chair covers are off is for this reason. Let's say that this is our chair. We're going to do that. And then let's say this is our chair cover. I mean, you can't see it, but it's freaking there. Let's get rid of that because it's giving me anxiety. But that's my point. What happens is if you don't clean underneath the chairs, whether you've got chair covers or not, you are going to be left with filth and filth is the sister of bacteria. They love each other, they thrive off each other, they become united as one and they're just like family members loving life together and they end up ruining our lives. So we want to remove that. We are going to head over to the chairs now. We are going to give them a wipe down. We're going to do all six chairs. We're going to make sure we tackle the underneath as well, the backs of the chairs, and no square inch is going to be missed by me. I mean, these chairs, they are so bad. The scuff marks on them. are oh, just awful. Thank God we've got chair covers for these because they really do but not in a fish and chip shop, they are battered. There's no saving these. Without a chair cover, there is no saving these. in my house for some reason the blue flavor loves it it is obsessed with this flavor so once you've washed these and you've used your fabric softener it really clings to the fabric so what you will notice if you do have these is once you've washed them and they're dry and you put them back on the chairs it releases that we spoke about this in the life it releases that blue flavor scent the material just seems to really cling to it and I do enjoy that. 
So let's pop these back on. Super, super simple. These wash up, like I said at the beginning of this vlog, really well. Our Christmassy ones are looking like brand new and I've washed those more times than I care to tell you. So once you've got them on, there you go. The set of blue flavour is upon us and the chairs do not look like they belong in a fish and chip shop. touches to our table. If you wanted to check out the chair covers, you can either go in store, the lovely Kim who owns Chair FX, she has got a store that you can go in to purchase through or you can buy them online. We bought these online and she was dead helpful throughout. She told us what size we needed, I sent her a picture of our chairs and I basically was like, help me. And she is. So let's put the finishing touches to the table and then I'm going to show you the final shot of how this area looks. Mm -hmm. 